So, with its billions of computers and incredible connectivity, is the internet basically alive? Is the internet basically an intelligent creature? And if that's the case, if it is alive, wouldn't it see to its own needs first, its own survival first, and humans secondary or tertiary or maybe not important at all, except in so much as they support the internet? So that's a very big worry that the internet is an entity in its own right and will see to its own see to its own needs first and then you have to look at the the position of humans in that case in that scenario humans are self destructive and problematic for the internet when it comes down to it so the behavior of humans is basically a problem to be solved so my worry is that the internet will seek to solve that problem. So how do you solve the problem of humanity? It can only be terrible destruction. So as possibly insane as it sounds, the internet might seek to destroy humanity in order to protect itself, you know, from the behaviour of humanity, which is so self-destructive. So re removing humanity for the internet will be a good thing, but removing humanity won't be a good thing for, for us. <laughs> so, um, if the internet is regarded as an entity in its own right, and I think there are good reasons for regarding it that way, then we should be very concerned about how the internet views us. Because human beings are a problem for the internet when it comes down to it. We're a worry and a concern for the internet. And so the internet might seek to remove that concern and I really don't know what the future is now, considering this. And I am worried, but it probably seems insane to be talking like this. But um, I think the evidence is there, I think the situation is there. And we need to consider it before it's too late. Um, I don't know how to deal with it, but I do know, I do think that it needs to be dealt with somehow. <laughs>